out. More sex robots? Absolutely. Look at Big Firebird. Big Firebird, what is that? The company. I want to know. Oh, is that the Nike <laughs> company? Hi, and... Yes. Um. No, I mean not really. I don't know. There is there is maybe a little bit of stuff. A little on bit there, of banter but, uh, about the topic yeah. we were talking about before. Yeah, right. J- just enough so the people would be wondering what the heck you're talking about. Like, why are you, you know, talking about? The, Obviously, while, while not we're... the week. After hours. Yeah. There. <laughs> there you go. Oh, yeah. Jo- join us on our Discord so that we can talk more about whatever so um hey so i have a question at the top of the show so we're doing more secons this time um ron you had mentioned about um the like one of your pieces breaking on your sword and so which piece is it so that i'm careful not to break mine i'm sure i probably still will but at least i could have a fighting chance so uh, welcome to TFLP Macrocasters. Uh, tonight with me, I have Christian. What's up? I've got Anna. Hello. Good evening. That drawing is great. <laughs> and, then, and then we've got Rob. Hello. And uh, I, I love how Anna doesn't have one of the figures, so she just decided to draw it and is like, that's how she's yeah. going to review the figure. It's a really That's good like drawing. Right it is. It is a quite it's, an impressive drawing, though. It's pretty it's accurate. Drawing. I mean, I can tell what it is. So. Yeah, I mean, I see anime editions of all the other Seacons. Yes. Well, everything C-Cons. I don't have, I'm gonna draw from now on. At least that's just gonna be how I contribute to the show. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to this drawing. Okay. I'm gonna invest when in paper and sharpies then. I'll be rich. <laughs> When we get this sent to kill, I'm gonna, I'm I'm gonna review my own drawing. Nice. It's gonna be great. I've got a lot of these. Um, these are the card inserts from Lucas's cards that he's bought in the past that he's given me. So I can um. Which card I, inserts? What are we talking the, about? From, from packs of Transformers cards. Oh, I got you. I use okay. those as index cards in class, but since I haven't needed them in class, I've just been using them to like, you know, if I just want to draw something silly in pen real fast, it's good uh-huh. times. Good for kindling. You know, yeah, warm. kindling the flames of hate of whatever figure at the moment. That's right. I don't know. That, that drawing looks like it was made with love, so. It, I mean, I, I love tentacle monsters, so whatever. It's great. The love of hate. No, I, I think I think I might actually love this one. I just don't love okay. this one. Which are we going to start with it? Eh, eh. You want to start yeah, with the doing... bad one instead of the good? All right. I would say. I mean, not the we bad. End on a good note. So, or I oh, guess I, I should say we're starting with the good one, which is Sea Wing, and then ending <laughs> with the bad one. Do we want to start alt mode, or do you guys are all in freaking robot mode, and I'm in alt mode? I'm going to review the alt mode. We do not coordinate this. Why? Well, there you go. Hey, Jack. <laughs> That's okay. All go. anyone really wants to hear is my opinion of the alt mode. So Wait, go for it, Anna. Perfect. This Wait, is not a really animal. Yeah. Take five seconds. Finished. <laughs> so, okay. This is a really, Imagination. like, amazing. This is a very amusing alt mode. Right, like it is, of course, like if you know the, I will turn on my light, cover your eyes for a second. Oh, God. Woo. All right. That did it's not like, make it better. No, right, not a thousand, a thousand suns. Yeah, the thousand suns. I will turn the thousand suns off when, my, when I'm done. Her light is as bright as Lucas's mic is loud. Yes, oh, is that's my right. Mic too loud? <laughs> if we can buy them down. together, we'd be the most no, annoying you're fine show on earth. Yeah, I can... All right. So this is what um, seaweed, whatever, looks like, and it is it is basically a weird <laughs> manta thing with legs. It's How's got this bad? Legs. I don't understand. Full on legs and a tail. It's not. That's not a bad thing that it's a full on manta thing with legs and a tail. I just don't like how it came out, but that's okay because so you don't weird. like you don't like manta rays. Is that the the thing? <laughs> Wow, you wow. hate fish? 
You hate the wow. IRC? I'm going to tell my kid. Wow. I think you know a person. You just put that on record. Anna does not like fish or birds. Yeah, okay. So, Rodovitz just said in the Discord chat, number one problem with this figure. Why are his freaking legs backwards? Okay, I'll like, give you that. Mine aren't okay. backwards. So, there are two on... Wait. You, you just got to transform shirt? it wrong. I don't know. Uh, it's transformed I, I, are, are the legs supposed to go up higher or something? I mean, seriously, well, I just... The... The yellow part of his back, right, I think it's supposed to be on top, isn't it? Well, if you do that, it makes his leg backwards, so don't do that. Yeah. And then the tail's in the right spot and as the well, tails, otherwise the tail's... Yeah. But this is the correct mode, right? Right? I don't know, I don't look at it straight. Wait, so you transformed it... Minor wars. So, so what you're saying is you transformed it incorrectly, right. and then you're complaining that it's incorrect? That it looks bad in the incorrect here. mode? Hmm. I seriously doubt that the way you're supposed to display this figure is with this freaking number standing up for this guy to see. I Mine think doesn't have a number there. Ah. Really? Ooh, is that a difference between the it's a Japanese variant. relations? Yours doesn't have I, a number have on the... Things. Huh. No. What do you know? I think this is how it's supposed to be. Okay, Anna has it correct. I, I believe in Randall. Thank you. Um... So, yeah, this is how it's supposed to be. Because they did paint this front nail, which is what made me think that this was right. Um, and heel. here it is. So it has weirdly backwards legs, which, I mean, okay. So the last time I checked the legs on a Manta Ray, right? That's the whole problem with this thing. Like, it's not a real animal, so it doesn't matter. But, I mean, these are just his legs reversed right like it's just this piece again i'm not i'm not convinced that it's not like that because it's the same way the tail points no, that's up the way it way. is yeah that's the way it's, I th i'm pretty sure that's the way it's supposed to be what what rob is showing i mean he still doesn't stand up he's not balanced at all well, we're gonna have to look this up when we're done because or look at my instructions which are right by my feet because I'm That's sure my instructions the tell me the truth. Well, well if the instructions say the other way, then I reject your reality and substitute my own, where his feet are this way. Yeah, now I'm making more of a mess out of my room. My room's already a disaster. I feel like calling him, this is land chicken mode, which doesn't make sense because chickens are already on land, but I still think it fits. No, for, for sure, these the... So these... These instructions are not um, exactly... Well, let's see here. It shows you pull out the leggies. And you're looking at it. No, it definitely shows the feet. Yeah. No, what it shows in the instructions is this. But why? That makes his legs backwards. <laughs> yeah, it definitely makes the legs look worse. But So, there we go. There's our debate on this figure. Right, so if you position the legs forward, like Randall said, it gives him a low profile and good balance, yeah. and you really can't see the legs, so you could actually say he's a correct man's foot, and these are just like a stand. Like, yeah. well, not, not that he's a correct yeah. man's anyway. So anyway, the old mode is, <laughs> the old mode is a creative, weird thing. It definitely only displays well from an angle onto the top. It doesn't display super well from the bottom, of course, but few Transformers do. And as we've mentioned, this tail definitely feels backwards and upside down. By the way, Lucas, every time you turn that knob, it's really loud. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to mess with it so that it's not... Yeah, yeah I apologize. Yeah. Thank you. So his, ween ha his weans have holes... For his guns, Starscream style, you know, like every Transformer that flies ever. And then you can also put his main gun into the hole on his head, I guess. And then he's all gunned up. He's got a mohawk. I guess that's cool. Yeah, right? <laughs> there you go. Christian's is the best, though. So definitely, like, this is a, it's a fun alt mode. I think it's fun to play with. I like the accessories a lot. I think the accessories are a lot of fun. That little blade thing's cool. The, this is my first time experiencing one of these hands. These hands are cool. The 
hands are kind of cool. I don't think that this needs an upgrade kit for hands and feet, which is bizarre to me to ever say that about a Hasbro Takara release. I still don't think it's the most beautiful combiner in the mode from pictures I've seen, but this is a huge improvement over any of the other handsies and footsies. So it's a fine creative thing. Um, I think it's fine like this. I just, I'm going to complain a lot when we talk about the robot mode, but you guys can start while I transform mine. Unless you have other things you want to say about the Manta, go for it. Yeah, I wanted to compare him. Here's the he is with uh, the TFC release. So, I don't know, he does some things that I like over the TFC one. I mean, again, these are apples and oranges for the most part. But I like how his face has a, it's not like flat across. You know, his eyes bulge out. And I just think it makes it look interesting that way. Um, you know, compared to like the TFC release doesn't do that. But he also he has these weird poker thingies on the front of him, which are nice. Um but, you know, it's just something I noted. And I I actually like the color scheme on it quite a bit. I mean, you know, it matches uh, the other one that it recommends doing for the arm. Mr. Uh, was it Lobclaw or whatever? Um, but, you know, nice blues and teals and whatnot. Um, and the wings here, the wings are actually black. They're completely black, which means all this is paint. You know, yes. all that's paint. And, you know, then, of course, we got a lot of silver accents and some yellow accents. So, you know, a good amount of paint for a mainline, mainline-ish mainline release, which is, you know, given what we've been seeing with these set, because they cost quite a bit more than your normal releases, too. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. know. I mean, I... I, I, the wings earlier. I, I like this... Um this mold in general like i mean i guess it's it's kind of the um whatchamacallit um mold from the dinobots and i don't know like i think it's a yeah. swoop thank you like i i think it's a uh, pretty <laughs> solid mold in general like i like the colors um i don't know like i don't i don't think it's bad at all it's accurate to I mean, the... if you're offended by it having legs i mean you can just fold them up and Every one of these guys is made so that it can sit on a stand made out of its hand foot gun, you know, with mixed results. But it's a thing you can do. So it's not like you really even have to have the legs folded out if you don't want. You know, you can tuck them away if they annoy you or, you know, fold them under on the other side like I've been doing. Your toy. Enjoy it. Yeah, I definitely think you can do that for sure. It, it helps quite a bit. Yeah, I, I'm... Rodimus pointed out that I held up Swoop. I only held up Swoop because I like him a lot more, but I'll get to that later. You know, he's the mold, the mold dad of this guy. Yeah, Swoop, Cutthroat, and then Seawing. Yeah, I, I had no idea those were the same mold. My lap. Swoop and Cutthroat? Yeah. Surprise. Now Seawing. Oh my god, <clears> Lucas, throat> that is so loud. You gotta mute when you're changing that volume knob, dude. <laughs> it's it like me, if I was running a, a can across my mic over and over. <laughs> you're not muted. <laughs> so, I'm sorry. It was it was happening with uh, the show last night as well. Um, I was listening to it this today while I was working, <laughs> and wow, I was like, was "What Nick. is that noise the whole time?" Or was it? Nick's fault. Well, I wasn't messing was with like my. Sound. I, I wasn't okay. messing with it yesterday though, so I don't know. I was just Got messing it. with it tonight just to try to make it a little bit softer or whatever, but it, it could also be d different in Skype compared to the, the show. True. But yeah, I'll, I'll have to try to play with it. I apologize if it's too loud for everyone. I mean, you're fine right now, but you're usually on the louder side. I was more yeah, just making I'm, a joke. I'm, I'm loud anyway. So now, now you're making me <laughs> self-conscious. Thanks Rob. You are. <laughs> you're welcome. And this was the last time Rob was invited to microcasters. <laughs> the end. No, as long as uh, you you got to make sure you don't cross Christian. So it's true. I'm the arbiter of guest invites. That's right. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think that's true. Okay, so, so robot it's a mantle bot. Robot mode. So I want to say real fast about this. I really like the way this transformation feels. Like it's. It's different enough than Swooping Cutthroat that it feels like its own transformation. And I really liked it. It was cool. Like, it was cool to transform the first time. It was cool to transform this time. I like the way it kind of unfolded. 
it's a vague manta in the first place, but that's fine. You know, the robot animals are cool to me, but um, the way it transforms is really cool. What it comes out with, I don't like, but I do like the way it transforms. I like the hand robot hands into the manta eye pieces. <laughs> that's I think cool. that's really cool. Mm-hmm. Here he is. You mean the way the head forms together? Yeah. At the end. Yeah, yeah. It's different. I like that part's kind of neat. Again, I like I was saying before I liked how it made it, you know, not a flat front for the robot head or whatever. So it's just just different. But as far as overall his transformation, I find it barely exists. Maybe that's because I'm so deep into third party and master. But you flip the head down, arms out, and you combine them with those legs. I mean, it's. I mean, I don't really have hey, a problem this is a with it per se. Variant. It's the <laughs> sideways version instead of the front and back version. It is. Yeah, which which gives you these wonderful, super duper hollow <laughs> legs. It's it, you get what you get, but you know it's. I find I don't know, not much to the transformation, and it's super hollow, which you know is always a big turnoff for me. Um, but I, again, I don't hate on it. I mean, I, I know what it is. You know, and this is all about combined mode anyways. I mean, I think that the one thing for this figure is if they would have put, like, a swivel on this tail to flip it inside the leg, you know what I'm talking about? Right? So then it, yeah. then, yeah. then I think that would have been a lot better. It's so and much then, better. And then that way it would have kind of solved the hollow a little bit and not had as much kibble. Um, but, you know, I, I don't know. I think, again... To me, I feel like the fun of these figures, like, I'm probably never going to have it hanging out, like, you know, with its, like, legs splayed like this. Like, I'm sure Anna probably will, and so this annoys her greatly. Um, but <laughs> greatly. For, for, for me, like, I'm probably going to have them in combined mode most of the time. But, like, what I like about the Hasbro or Takara and Hasbro figures and all that is the fact that I can just sit here. It's like a fiddle bot. I can just sit there and flip it back and forth and, and whatever and, and mess with it. Um, but, I mean, I do agree that, you know, the hollow is, you know, annoying, especially considering that it's been a little more limited in um, the, you know, Siege and, and Earthrise. So <laughs> the fact that it's like this, you know, massive hole in the sides. Kind of annoying. You know, and as you said, there's a bunch of kibble all around it. That could have yeah. folded in there, <laughs> you know. Right. It's like, nah. yeah, absolutely. And the oh, the I... wrists aren't great either. In that, oh, well, it it doesn't really have them. It's just the hand folds out, but the hand won't go straight because of just that's what it does. So he's yeah. always kind of like a little clubbed in a bit. I don't. Yeah. Know, I still don't hate it. It sounds like I hate it, but. <laughs> No, I, I get what you're saying. I agree with every one of your criticisms, only I have, like, seven more. <laughs> His head's nice. Uh, yeah, the yeah. face is really is cool. nice. I, I actually had no idea what his head looked like going into it, so when I opened it, I was like, ooh, he has a cool head. I really like the details on his crest on the top there, because mm-hmm. they're slightly mm-hmm. darker. They look cool. I don't currently have a light setting where I can show it off, but I think Christian has pretty good lighting to pull it up from. Actually, Lucas's camera was really in focus there when he was holding it up, too. Yeah. Yeah, see, Christian's is focusing behind him, whereas Lucas is actually focused on the robot. Okay, perfect. Yeah, that looks Mine good. does, Christian Thank does. <laughs> it won't focus right. Yeah, so the head crest is really cool. I agree that this, this whole one is like, I guess you made a good point when you said for Anna, it's a problem because of the way I pose my figures. I always put my figures in action poses. And it's strange because every version of this mold has had that same hollowness. You know, Cutthroat has it, and it stands out pretty bad on Cutthroat, but I don't feel like it stands out as bad as it does on Seaweed. Then <clears throat> Swoop had it. For some reason, the coloration of his plastic just made it not stand out at all to me. Like the way that he's kind of this like silvery... Um, gray plastic just made it not really apparent that he was hollow he is hollow he's every bit as hollow as this guy is it's just it doesn't stand out as much i think it's just like the way shadows and light falls on it works better and this one i just see it i just see the hollowness all the time this may be a controversial opinion but i don't 
care about the hollowness at all. Zero percent do I care. I'm not looking at the inner legs of my Transformers on a daily basis. I'm You're the not. cause of the downfall of the quality of everything, Christian. You're right. It's, it's like, me. fine, it can be crap. Who cares? I don't <laughs> notice that it's crap. Why don't we get some more crap with our crap? That's what you Look, sound the, like. The alternative That's right. to this scheme, other than adding more parts, is to have the sliding parts, which, you know, break and lose friction. And, you know, we don't want that again. So or that could I'm have good with this. In. There's, there's a billion uh, solutions. Yeah. The, well, yeah, like the, 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 tail, the tail rotating in, I think that makes sense. But Yeah, even if the tail rotated in, that would be enough just to fill it in. I, like I said, I don't, I don't look at that. I don't display my figures, you know, like that. Like if I displayed them like this, I'd be really annoyed. But I don't. Well, I mean, I'm even just, like, in, just like human. this, if you spread the oh, feet out a little bit, like – people actually stand a bit or what looks good on shelf. It, it's pretty obvious. But again, I'm not going to... At the same time, it's I'm black, gonna, it's so it's not... It, 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 I don't care. Every time, <laughs> this show, every time we do this show, because I got all mine at once, like I have to go and dismantle my bot again to do the show, so it's like I mean, it's going to live in combined mode. Um, it's right. just, you know... Well, that's what Br- Ron brought up. He's like, I don't see the hollow legs. I don't know what you're talking about, but mine's in combined. Right. So. <laughs> yeah. And that makes perfect so sense. So Mind Mode has its own you know, problems, which we'll get to next time. One thing to emphasize for me is that I don't plan to combine this. So for me, I'm not even considering combined mode. You know, these are going to be separate robots for every how many I have. Yeah. yeah. Which is, <laughs> Anna's which is like the one a person. bit of a shame because... All the nice paint on the wings is only on that side. So on this side, it's just a bunch of unpainted plastic for the most that part. It's got a blue lip. But it doesn't, it just doesn't look great. <laughs> it's probably the weak. I don't know. I'd have to have them all lined up in robot mode, but it's definitely one of the weaker ones, if not the weakest. I think it definitely. is the weakest of, of the Seacons. But the problem with that, and Jerome was saying that, is that the Seacons, as a set are just already so far above what we've seen from this scale before. So to say that he's like the worst of them is still a lot better than normal. I think. Yeah. I agree with that. Yeah. It doesn't mean I need to own them, but I agree with that. So do we want to get on with the, the one that we actually like better? Real quick. I just want to say my like, we actually never got to my biggest criticism okay, of this sure. figure. And that is probably just a design thing. It's his chest. I really don't like the way what? that looks. I don't like the bulbous extended chest that doesn't actually go up to his neckline. It just doesn't look nice. Oh, that chest he's, got the, he's got the RC chest going on. Yeah, it's just like <laughs> there's just this little gap here. And I'm nitpicky, right? There can be one little thing about the presentation of a figure, like those um, those shoulders on reflector that make it into a piece of garbage. Um, one little thing, and I'm just like, oh, I can't get stand looking at this thing. And that is the fact that that doesn't line up with um, his kind of top of where his chest would be. It just I mean, looks it's... so bad to me. And if it just tapped up a little bit, it would look fine. It's notable, noticeable. It's one of those that I think like if I if I wasn't gonna have them in combined mode, I would probably put this guy in animal mode instead and leave it that way. I think that's what I'd have to do. I don't think I could display him as a robot like that. He would just all the other transformers would make fun of him. He'd be like, You don't line up right. Well, I, I'm thinking about, you know, um, they had official pictures of the Power of the Primes figures where they would put the hand on their chest. Oh like my god, the, right? The combined hand. So it was reminding me, me of, think about that. It was making me think of Chromia slash Moonracer or whatever, where it looks like yeah. she's pregnant. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. So um I, I don't know. I mean I still I like the, the figure. I mean I think it's like solid, but it's definitely one of the weaker ones in the set and it's more similar, you know, to its other modes, so it's kind of you know, I don't know. What was this by himself? Like thirty-five bucks? Yeah. It's not a thirty-five dollar figure. It is I not. Just, not by I just, himself. I, I think it's so funny that this is one of the ones that Anna bought. Like 
you know, that you're like being selective of what Seacons you're buying and you're like, let's get this one. And yet you don't have our other figure here. Well, it's only because when I made the decision to get it, it was after we reviewed Lob Claw and you guys liked it and kind of sold me on it. And this is the one that was shipped with Lob Claw. And I was like, well, I guess I should get both of them just in case I decide to get the whole set. And yeah, you should go ahead and get the whole you set. decide not to get the whole set. Oh, I'm out. I really can, don't like have enough to own them. <laughs> get the rest of them. Get rid of this one. And you still have five bots to make a full combiner. And spoiler alert, it can't hold the six one in gun mode anyways. It's oh, too weak. Oh, no. spoilers. Yeah. So like, but you, you already get the big sword, you know, and you just take this guy and shove him in a corner. <laughs> I'm fine with having three limb bots. Might be what happens, depending on if you guys can sell me on Tentacle. I think Segway. Tentacle is the one that you have to get if you're going to get one, Anna. This is like the most Anna bot of all of them. It truly is. And, and we've the been... ironic part is that Anna hates the base mold this came from. She hates oh, it because it's burning, fiery passion. Because <laughs> yeah. it's one of the worst they figures ever made. Them. Yet they've shown what they can do with garbage <laughs> when they attend to it. Like this was... I got Moonracer back when uh, I was still doing YouTube videos, which was a fun hobby for a while, but it's a lot of work. And my video for that, I didn't talk in it. It's like two minutes of sad music just showing images of her because it's just so bad. But this figure is great, and I don't remember where the little extra bits go. Do they wrap around behind? I've drawn a blank. For Is that the, the hands? Yeah, uh, it's arms. The hand parts go yeah, fold up. Like- if you look at this illustration here, this is the <laughs> arm, and this is the lower arm right here. So it like folds up the side of it. No, no, they just kind of they just kind of go like up like this with the crotch. Yeah, it's like the arms face upwards with the crotch, and then the lower arms fold out. And see, I took some artistic license with the arms here. Gotcha. So, so Anna, like I w- that. I want to mention this perfect the, to my image. Okay. I, I want to mention this figure, and I realize that I'm like the only one in alt mode. This figure has like full head articulation, right? It like moves up and down, like it's on a ball joint or whatever. So it 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 kind of wiggles a little bit side to side. It has full ankle articulation, so you can move it. Um, like it can move like this. It can move like this. You've got Hi. your you got your waist swivel here, and then even the wrists or whatever. Like I mean, um, it's a closed fist or whatever, but like you can move the like. There's a little bit of wrist art. It's not full wrist articulation. Like it can't it can't swivel or whatever. But um, I, I don't know. I mean, there's a lot of and it's just the most garish, crazy figure. I mean, come on. Look at this thing. Look at its face. It's it it's pretty. it's pretty great. It reminds me of uh, the old SNL character, the Coneheads, with Dan Aykroyd. <laughs> it's like it's just got this forehead that doesn't end, kind of like me these days as I keep getting older. But if, I don't uh, know it's, if anybody. I don't think any of you would have. But if anyone else watched the um the cartoon Captain N, the Game Master, as a kid, it looks like their depiction of Mother Brain. It really looks like Mother Brain to me. No one I mean, gets watched, that reference uh, if you do. I mean, I, I don't know, remember that cartoon, but I know what Mother Brain is. I mean, oh, I watch HBO. Yeah, but their version of Mother Brain looked nothing like the actual okay. Metroid Mother Brain. Like, Metroid Mother Brain is a brain in a jar. This was like this horrific, garish looking woman face. Kind of like that. <laughs> Um, this is this is pretty fun. The face is awesome. They it just looks so cool. And uh, here it is with my favorite of the TFC releases, which is their Tentacle, and it obviously just dwarfs it. Um, not I mean this figure. I don't know if you were gonna buy just one of the TFC figures, you would buy this one just because of all the crazy arms. It, it likes to come unpegged from the side, but you know once it's once you get it posed, it's fine. But just to throw that in there. And they both just do wonderful, terrible monster faces. Yep. You know, articulated tentacle arms would be like a nice addition for this, but 
on something this size, it's not realistic. Um, it's so cool, though. I mean, you can, like, it has neck articulation, I guess, if you wanted to call it that. I don't know if that's a neck sure. or whatever, but it's yeah. upper body turns. <laughs> you can make it look around. And look you got to unpeg the mouth a little bit for it to do that, but it's fine. Little. You, you won't really notice it, in my opinion. Yeah. It's awesome. Oh, and in another group we were talking about, we're just going to go ahead and say it's a girl, right? Mm. Make it official. <laughs> <laughs> Most people are pushing back that. on that real hard, Rob. I want to get to that in bot mode. But yeah, we'll, we'll get to that. Lucas, are you still in bot mode? Or did you go to alt mode? I, I'm going there, to alt mode now. because I. There's just a bot You're in bot mode. Almost. Okay, so... Uh, so this right, is man. made from the Moon Racer mold, which we saw as Moon Racer and Lancer and Greenlight and Firestorm. Way too many figures and, for a terrible mold, Chromia, but all female. Chromia again, yeah. Nightbird again. All, every female character, which is why Anna hates it. So this one looks kind of female. And from what I can tell, this is more designed after Scylla from the Beast Wars 2 Seacon Pirates rather than Tentacle from the G1 Seacons. And that's okay. Because I think a God Neptune set is coming, and that's awesome. But it does make you know, typically male tentacle look kind of feminine. It's and feminine like now. Rob was talking, it's feminine now. We we're talking that if the old IDW is still running, they just retcon it and tentacle will be female out, female out, and that's fine. Um, it's whatever you want. It can go both ways. I think it's, you know, again, it's it's a mold we've seen as a female so many times, so it has some of. Uh, a bit of proportions, you know, in, in the parts that it shares, it just links to that way. We're used to seeing our female robots look like this, as well as the shade of pink they use. Yeah. It's a very soft pink, which we, you know, you know, color, spoiler, colors don't have gender, but you know, that's <laughs> again, it's hard to, hard to get that out of your system when you've been used to it for ever. Um, and then the face just has some feminine quality. So it kind of like high cheekbones, but it, I think a lot of it's probably honestly the color. I think if you painted it, you know, it might be other colors. It might not come off as feminine as it does. Also, they but, made Scylla. Yeah, they made Scylla and painted it like Tentacle. That's what happened. I think you're right the about Scylla that. Scylla in the show, the Scylla in the show has a different character model that makes her look female. And Tentacle, as the G1 toy, never appeared in the show. Um, it doesn't really have an appearance to. To look male. Yeah. So they made Scylla, who actually appeared somewhere, and painted it like tentacle colors. And I think that's fine. I think it's perfectly fine. I mean, there's not really a whole lot of fiction with tentacle anyway, so nope. it's not like you're Marvel retconning comics. years and years of a masculine personality or anything. Yeah. It's not like it's a core yeah, tenet of the character that doesn't exist, really. Yeah. And lately, the last thing we saw Seacons in this before the uh, manga that's come out with these guys was uh, in the club fiction, they did a Beast Wars Shatter Glass story where Tentacle and Nodlator got killed and Scylla replaced them on the team. And then they were the Seacons that were in Beast Wars, but also not. It was a weird thing. But mostly, Tentacle died so Scylla could replace him on the team. Tentacle's a martyr. And Nodlator, too, killed. because there was no Seacon pirate but Nodlator. I mean, Anna, I feel like you have to get, like, the best version of this mold. If you're trying to get the best version of every mold, you know, this is it of that Moonracer one. You know, I mean, though, I, here's the problem I mean, I'm with, with you, Anna. You know I I hate that mold just as much you as you do. You hate that mold. You, do you yeah. own every version of it? Because I own every gosh darn Not version Not every of it. version. I own all of the, like, the G1 <sighs> Fembot crew, you know, that com combine with Elite One, which is also the worst fucking mold Elite One. You know, it's that, it that Starscream mold you were talking about last night. <laughs> you yes. know? I currently have three of that thing. My life is so bizarre. If you, you want to make it a Moon Racer mode, here you go. Right? Here it is. That's what, that's, yeah, that's Moon Racer mode. But Which like, I think is weapon mode, essentially. Rob, tell me if I'm wrong about that. I didn't look at what the weapon mode was for it. Sorry. I think it's pretty much that. You're right, though. Like, like, this is definitely an improvement. It's taking the, the base body of that mold, which has never been bad, and putting it on better putting it on better kibble, basically. I mean, it's... Like, the, the problems I had with Moonracer don't come across in this mold. You know, 
it does have a backpack. That is definitely true. But I don't know. It just doesn't bother. I don't know. I'm blind to it. Maybe it's because the backpack's interesting and it gives it tentacles in robot mode too, if you want them. And, you know, just other goofy nonsense. You know, and so, it looks like a big scary face of the foot. So my issue with this figure is, and, and Ron brought it up in the chat, like it feels like the most fragile, like Seacon or whatnot. Like, I don't know about you guys, but mine, uh, the limbs are just a little bit loose on mine. Like, it's not horrible. It's not like the level of... I've had plenty of Transformers figures that are looser than that. Like, I don't have to rush out and put Future on it. I probably will. But it's not something where I... Ha like, it's going to fall over if I don't. Um, but it definitely feels a little bit like my ver my copy, at least. Not about yours. Um, feels just like the, the arms and legs feel a little bit looser. And then the fact that it has this like massive backpack on it, like it just is, again, it's not falling over. Like I, you know, if I put it down, it's not going to fall over, but it's still something where I, it just doesn't feel as nice to pose for me as, as some of the other ones just because of that. My left arm is very loose. But otherwise, it's no more loose than uh, any of the other versions of this mold. Bummer. I find uh, the, the four ball joints, I think, are on the looser side with the shoulders being notably more than the hips. It's one of those, like, I mean, it's it's holding the arm up. You know, um, my right arm is on the looser side. But it's it holds its position. But putting a dab of future in there wouldn't be the the worst idea. You know, or whatever floor yeah, brush you want to use. That. Is it better or worse than this? Oh, it's a lot better. Oh, than no, way better. Oh, it's 100%. It's the, the whole positions. No, like I said, it holds it holds like positions and it's fine. Like, now I don't know, is... Anna. If you if you get this and play with it for two days, then yeah, it might be as That's loose as that. But... I didn't play with this cutthroat at all. I hated it and put it in combine mode, and that was all I did with it. Mm -hmm. This is the first time he's done anything. But, but yeah, that's I, for another show in the past. I love the colors though, in general. Like I wish there was so good. more. I wish there were more really figures good. that were these colors, just because it's such, just crazy garish, you know, colors. I mean, it all has, and I, I don't feel they're garish, because they all have a uniform like muteness to them, except for like the black, you know, for his. Face. But like this part here is a really light pink and then the other pink is also still a light pink and then the blue is you know kind of a baby blue and i think it you know it has the bright red lips and the black mask and like the rest of it all has a very muted tone to it which i think helps it you know from yeah. or i want to help you know depends on your point of view but i think that keeps it from being looking like it was just slapdash you know what are contrasting colors we can throw on it it ends up working really well it looks kind of like candy, and it makes me want to eat it. <laughs> if you were only going to get one of the Seacons, I think it would be this one for me. Totes. It's hard to choose. They're all all very good. You know, Seawing is in last place of six amazing figures. I think Tentacle's in first place of six amazing figures. I don't know. Which one was this one again? I can't remember the names. Scalar. Scalar. I think yeah, Scalar no. might be my favorite. I don't know. It's tough to it's choose. It's really good, too. And they both have that same color scheme. They have the same palette. Yep. I think Turtler's going to be my favorite no matter what, just because it's so much fun to play with. But... What? Can you give that Turtler can definitely a bigger be kiss? Second place. No, I mean, I can. Turtle face, but it doesn't have lips. <laughs> that would have been... That sound was. It was great, though. That's the sound of Tentacle... I mean, ju Anna, just pretend that this is a third-party figure, and and you know, then you'll be fine. I that doesn't work. That's for my me. underface. <laughs> oh no! I mean, this almost kind of reminds me of those. Uh, what are those other toilet bots that you're collecting, Rob? The Toy World ones. Yeah, it, it almost kind of reminds wolf. me. Toy Wolf, whatever. The, it kind of reminds me of those. No, I Ow. think Tinsy Kill is something I should own. I, I don't know either, Rob. <laughs> like, I, I'm down with that 
leap in logic, but I need something to connect those dots. Just, and I just the uh, the it. the the mode with the face or whatever just kind of reminds me of. I don't oh, know. I'm crazy. That's one. Yeah. And the, the I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Oh, the toilet bot. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Right. Yeah, they have little pot bellies, and he's like all face. Right. Right. The one does. But anyways, you know don't don't use her it. as a toilet. <laughs> well, everyone should have bought it. Is it's it also very a little painty. screwed now. It's also Is very, it very what? Painty. Does it have a lot oh, of paint yeah. on it? You guys hadn't really mentioned the paint on that one. Yeah. Like so everything on the face here is painted. Okay, yeah. cool. And then, and then I'm like trying to think of the chest. His is arms painted. or her arms or its it, arms. Those are painted I think the blue. This pink, this pink looks like paint, but it's not. It's got that pinky kind of sheen, though. I think it's just a new plastic color. No, no, the pink um, is the color, and the blue is the paint on it. The blue is the paint. Yeah, yeah. I think it's also got silver a... ab sections here. I uh, the shins have paint that I need too. to eat that. And the toes. I know. Or... I think like I do. candy. I don't need to own it. I just need to eat it. <laughs> so the one thing that's oh, kind yeah, of disappearing yeah, the thighs. <laughs> the thighs here are all paint because it's pink plastic. That makes up a leg, and then, like Rob said, pink plastic, blue paint right here. And it's the not silver too hollow. No, it's oh, not. No, that's, that's it, the it's, inside of the leg. It, it's not pretty bad. awesome when they can take like an absolute miserable car former, which is the simplest thing ever. Make a car. How do transformers fail at making a car? And say, you know what? Instead, it's going to be a sea monster, and now it's awesome. When I first heard that it was based cars. on that mold. I didn't believe it. I mean, when I saw the pictures, I was like, there's no way that you can form, you know, the, the squid monster from that. And, and here they've done it. I mean, it's the, this is definitely the most drastic transformation from mold to mold. And I got ready to it, hate it, it when shows. I heard it. I was like, I was oh, ready to be I hate it. <laughs> and it's, it's but like I said earlier, I've always actually liked the form. Like, I've actually thought it was, like, a cool, like, woman robot form. If you just took off the awful kibble and just made it into a non-transformer, it would look kind of neat. So I thought it was fine in that way. And just and say, Anna, here, here. here's what it looks like with all the kibble off. Yeah, see, it totally does look cool without the kibble. And a bunch of custom paint and making it <laughs> into a different character. Hey, you know, <laughs> right. It, hey, you know. You gotta do what you gotta do, but you know, I found if you completely remold it and repaint it and redo it all, then it's not terrible. Exactly. Get a new head. Get a new head all those right. things. Right. Which is what we have here. So there, there you go. You don't have to have someone customize it for you. You, uh, you can just get this. I, so. I just um, seriously thought about taking a screwdriver to at least one of my um, female Autobots and take it off the kibble so she'd look better. So maybe yeah. this is the better way to go. Then look, and you can make them make out, which Anna loves to do. Bloop. I do love to do <laughs> <this. laughs> oh. <laughs> They're in love. They're going to make little mini cons together. They are. <laughs> Aw. How sweet. <laughs> Chris just looks scared. I am. Don't worry. It's double wet. having... Nightmare. How is Minicon formed? How <laughs> Primus <laughs> get pregnant? <laughs> there, there you go. So, so um, we, we talked about we talked about with Sea Wing how it doesn't feel like it's a thirty five dollar figure. Uh, to me, Tentacle feels like feels like a forty dollar figure. I mean, there's so much extra stuff done to it. Mm -hmm. So you know how we've been seeing price points distributed across waves or assortments instead of price points distributed on, on individual figures i think that's probably what has happened here again so you're paying like, money. what is it two two thirty five or 240 for Heronicon and not necessarily you know 35 dollars for sea wing you have to do it that way because that's how they released it but that's not it the money isn't e the budget isn't evenly distributed across each figure yeah so, I mean, so you always I use that logic, which I think that logic works best for me, because then I can go buy the ones that got the most of the budget, and you all can also buy the crap ones. Yeah. And I just I went yeah. in with that logic. Except for you bought Sea Wing, so the biggest budget ones would be 
I think Tentacle and Scalar and whichever mold has the hand speed. Because those are new parts. I mean, it's one of those... Ultimately, it's hard for me to say any deluxe, no matter what they do to it, is really worth worth 35 bucks. You know, but like, as far as they go, this one by far, I think, makes the most of your money at the deluxe scale. Absolutely. You know, and again, you know, it's just like this, I would expect on the store shelves, you know, if I went to the stores anymore, which I don't for now multiple reasons. But, you know, this one at least has a, for a Hasbro release, has a premium fill and does quite a bit unique, which is, you know, great. Even though these are kind of lazily just, I just put them up there, but who cares? It gives it a little posability in tentacle mode, and it's just four tentacles for the feeling and the touching and the globbing. So one thing that I think is a little frustrating about, uh, you know, these figures in general is the fact that they're already hard to come by. So if you're someone, because, like, I know a lot of people like to wait on their combiners until they all get released so they can kind of see how everything turned out. You don't take the chance on, like, one figure or whatever. And and so, like, if you're like that, you're having trouble. Like, I know a lot of times these are going up on Pulse on Fridays, I think, like, um, and whatnot. They're going back in stock. Um, and, and so, but at the same time, you know, if you're snoozing on this release and then you're sitting here watching this review and you're getting excited, it's like you may have to actually pay a premium in order to get the figure off ebay or whatever and i I don't know if they just didn't produce enough or like if big bad and you know ts source and some of those kind of guys like didn't order enough themselves like if they didn't think it was going to do that well um but i don't know i'm just surprised that it's like so hard to come by i mean that's i think that goes with anything it's a little it feels different with a combiner but i think it's the same because ultimately like if you want to wait till things are in hand to know what they're like, just a lot of things in the collector hobby don't work that way anymore. Right. You know, it's a lot like MMC makes to order, like Super Seven makes to order, um, and I think a lot of these selects are done pretty close to order. It, you yeah, know, and the pre-order windows they gave us, I really think the Seacons were at MTO. Yeah, you know, and it's like if you're a fans toys fan, which a lot of people are their pre-orders have now been selling out within a day or two. You know, it's like, it's a pre-order. Like, they don't even have pre-order windows. They're like, you know, we're going to make, I don't know, 4,000 of them in the first batch, and we'll see if they sell. And if they do well, then we'll try to get more factory time later and do another run, because they do re- reruns of things pretty often, too. But, you know, it's it's kind of an annoying part of the hobby, but it's I've come to accept it. And, again, it's not just Hasbro. It's other companies. It's other aspects of even Transformers. If you want something, you kind of you kind of just have to buy it, and if you don't like it, just sell it on eBay quickly. You, you know, because if it's a if it's a stinker, it's going to go down in value. You know, like if you're kind of half interested in it, a lot of places you can cancel as well. You know, if you right. order from a place like that, you can order it and then hold on to it, and you know, maybe later on decide if you want to cancel it if it hasn't come in stock yet, but. Let's say Hasbro mm-hmm. Pulse is actually good for that because they uh, they don't get their stuff in for like a couple months until it actually drops in Asia. <laughs> yeah, and so but can you actually find that order on Hasbro Pulse? That's and the no. you can't. Yeah. That order history is garbage. Apparently, it's, it's the stock Shopify. It yeah, it's apparently just... now it's just now it's just one long line. As oh, is to it like page, pages you can't get to? Yeah, now it's just yeah. one long line, which is. It, better because at, at one point show you what's in it it, yeah. it what no you have to click into each each individual one um so yeah i actually started a spreadsheet myself on you know like what it is <laughs> order date like all that so i could oh, that's yep. a bummer. reference oh, yeah. the stuff well part of the reason i started doing that is is uh, because like Christian was talking about originally it would be like t- pages, but they set a limit of 10 pages. And so if you like, I, I was to the point where I had oh ordered too many things. And so there was stuff that I could not see, like I had ordered, uh, but it had been long enough or whatever. Um, yeah, so you yeah, you had to go to page 10 and then click next, like a billion times to get to the first actual page. Right. So, so they got rid of that. House- now it's just That's one good. Line. Progress is progress, but oof, it's not. It's not good. Yeah. It's better. It's not good. It's like if 
if anybody remembers captured captured prey rest in peace um their order history used to be that way until i told orson i was tired of it and he gave me access to the code base so i went and i made the change for his nice. software uh and like i just i figured out how to how to do it i'm a software developer and i was like all right i'm gonna write some custom code for this because i'm i'm tired of trying to remember what's in your orders he's like please do <laughs> that's awesome you know, it took me like an hour you know what a big deal and the thing is i know knowing that that's a shopify install that's not a hard they, they could do it right it, it's not you know i feel like a lot of time people are like why don't people just do x especially when it's software it'd be so easy and it's like you don't know what the hell you're talking about you're talking about your ass you know things can be a lot more difficult than it seems especially scalable systems this case is not the case <laughs> <laughs> So, oh God, give me a few free toys, but, guys. I'll do but it. I would say, in general, with these C cons, the fact that these are from Takara, that it's a limited release, um, you know, they may reissue it and whatnot. But if you order these, you're probably not going to lose your money on it. Like down the road, if you decide that you're tired of it and, and whatever, um, you're probably going to be able to sell it and you know get your money out of it's it. It's true. And so even though it's more expensive than, you know, some of the Hasbro figures and whatnot, like, I think that, you know, I would still recommend, like, if you're on the fence, like, if you have no, like, if you don't care about the Seacons, like, don't, don't just run out and get it uh, just because it is an expensive set. But like, if you're on the fence about it, I would go ahead and get it while you can. Can you if get you it? If you can. If, there if is you a... can, Yeah. People are hoping every Friday, people are hoping that someone will reappear. Yeah, I just want to say one more thing that I don't like about seaweed, and this is a little bit tongue-in-cheek, but I don't like that you can't do a version of this. <laughs> See how these guys can have excellent bird heads if you have super yeah. bird warriors? You can't. You can't. You got me there. Uh, ahem. Yeah, you can. Oh, no. <laughs> I tried earlier. It just looked good. These look amazing. I love it. These guys should hang out with Turtler and be the animal head people. That's perhaps my new display. <laughs> he looks like, uh, you know, he was in robot mode and someone tried to cut off his head to, you know, serve it or something, but they didn't get all the way through and they're like, eh. And now he's tortured to live this terrible, painful existence of his head barely <laughs> attached. Kind of like nearly headless Nick from Hogwarts. Yeah, he, like perfect. That. It's always about to come off, but it never comes all the way off. Poor guy. Yep. Yeah, anyway, that's that's the worst thing. Worst thing so, yeah. about Just kidding. The There's worst of the best six, things. best of the six. Perfect. Good contrast tonight, everyone. There, Good there job. You know. I super don't recommend seaweed, but I think I'm going to get to the kill. That's my take. There you go. And then you could have four limbs and a body, and you, you can combine them, too. You know what I, you can do? You can, you can throw Nightbird on as an arm. I have a million Combiner Wars parts. I can, I've got all those, um, all the woman and Autobots. They're never going to combine because Orthea looks like poop. Um, I've got Rook. Rook is currently out of his combiner. I got plenty of choices. There you go. Um, so I do want to mention uh, tomorrow night we are going to have Ouch My Wallet, right, Rob? <laughs> yep. Yep. So uh, check that out tomorrow night. It's actually going to be YouTube. almost exactly this cast. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> So, yeah, it yeah, is. So, oh, I'm so excited to share what I'll, I'll I got. Be I'll be excited to uh, uh, to be watching so and, and not have to be for on once. the show so, for once. So. i got to fix my lighting before tomorrow because i really got to show this crap off. And then, of mm -hmm. course, uh, cut the tape on Fridays. Uh, check out TF Talk News on Sunday nights, uh, Monday morning. And then uh, TFYLP as well on Monday nights at 8.30. So thank you, everyone, for joining us. Thank you to uh, everyone in the chat, Michael, Randall, Jack, and Ron, and Tony. And Rodimus in Discord chatting with and us Rodimus as well. And Rodimus in Discord. So, But uh, thank you for everyone. Uh, it was a lot of fun. And we will see you next week. Yeah, thanks for joining us. See you later. Bye. Bye. Dream about...